what in the heck do we have here? This thing needs a trim, huh? Ah, oh, sweet. Canadian IMP 2017. Smoked meat with mustard sauce. Let's do this. Let's get this open, see what we got. Nice. Okay, let's get it spread out. So here's the contents of the pack. We got our main, the smoked meat with mustard sauce. Also comes with an additional little pack of mustard here. Then down here to dessert, which is gonna be our sliced apples. And now over to the drinks. Got a chocolate drink mix, a 3-in-1 Nescafe, and then two orange sports drinks. I never understood why they put two of the same in each one, but it seems that every IMP I've had, there's been two of the same exact one. I'm not sure why they don't just give you one ice and one orange, or you know, one grape and one ice, something like that, just mix them up. And then here's our do not eat napkin, spork napkin, and gusseted beverage bag. And then down over to some more dessert, we got the Snickers, the Tic Tacs, and a pack of matches. And also the world famous pain burger. And in goes our meat with mustard sauce. Let's probably get rid of that. While the main is working, let's go ahead and get our drinks going. Nice gusseted bag here. I filled it up to the line and we'll add our orange drink in. Gonna seal that up nice and give it a shake. Little fold over on top. All right. Where are my manners? There we go. Right, let's just pop off our glass here from our beverage bag. Worked like a charm. Stands up by itself. Amazing. U.S. take notice. Now for our three in one. It calls for just over eight ounces, but we're going to go ahead and go with six because the flavor is just so much better with a little less water. So surprisingly this didn't really come with any snacks except for maybe the pain bread but there's nothing to really put on it except for maybe some of the smoked meat when that time comes but uh, luckily enough one of our Canuck buddies uh, either B Temple or Smitty I think it was B Temple sent me this big old pack of ketchup Doritos which I've never had never even seen so we're gonna go ahead and pop those open get some of those into a bowl and give those a try look at those guys huh Oh yeah, delicious. We also have our apples as well. I'm not sure if these are spiced apples or just straight up apples, but we'll take a look. Okay, so let's get some apples out on the plate here. They appear to be pretty standard apples. I don't see any spice in there. A lot of juice though. Wow, a lot of juice. Oops. All right, let's give them a try. This guy fell off. Yeah, just apples and a, and a light syrup. No spice. Still tasty though. And our main's almost ready. Okay, so the main is ready to go. Let's get it out onto the plate. All right, and here we go. Smoked meat with mustard sauce. I should have used a bigger plate. Look at that, huh? All right, we got it all. Nice. Let's give that a taste. 
And here we have it, the famous Canadian beef with mustard sauce, smoked meat. Let's give this a try. Excited. It's kind of like little beef shreds. Mmm. Has a very, you know, corned beef style flavor to it, but a lot more on the beefy side. Salt is great. The mustard doesn't come through a whole lot, so we might try to add a little bit of our packet here. But, uh, you know, by itself, great dish. But like I said, the mustard really doesn't come through all that much, but it's got good pepper, good salt. Great dish. I think I'm going to put this on a little bit of a pain burger, see how it goes. Okay, so we have our pain burger here, and also our mustard packet. I'm kind of wondering if this is like a yellow mustard, a Dijon, or more like a spicy. Um, it looks more like a Dijon from the uh, appearance of it. Get some of that out here. Give that a quick spread. Put on some meat. That's a good looking sandwich. A little more mustard on top. Give this a try. Look at that, huh? Nice. So yeah, the beef on the pan burger is great. I might try something a little unorthodox here. It is kind of on the salty side, so I'm going to see if maybe throwing a couple apples in there might kind of make it better. Um, I know I've used apples in my marinade for my corned beef, so might be a good idea. Give it a try. Alright, let's try that. The apples do add a touch of sweet, which is kind of nice. It cuts the salt. Um, it doesn't really go with the mustard all that well. But um, like I said, I do marinate my corned beef in an applesauce type of mixture, like apple juice type of thing. Um, so it's not bad. Um, yeah, it definitely cuts the salt down, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and try a little French dip on this guy. I'm from Buffalo and they do this thing where they, uh, you know, they dip their bread in like a beef juice. So uh, let's try a little sauce on the bread. Very good. The apples are still cutting the salt, so that's great. I'm not sure if it's the sauce that's salty or the beef itself. Um, but like I said, <laughs> hi Nathan. This is very much like a corned beef style meat with uh, just extra salt. It tastes great. The mustard doesn't really come through all that much, but you can definitely tell it's there. So a fantastic meal. A little bit on the salty side, but the apples really do cut it down. I'm going to finish up the uh, the orange drink and also the three-in-one and the uh, delicious ketchup Doritos that were sent to me. And then finish up with these uh, Tic Tacs here. Probably not going to bother with the uh, Snickers. Might just save that for later. My mistake guys, I did forget the chocolate drink mix, so I did just put in the correct amount of water and mixed it up. Looks like a pretty solid milk chocolate there. Probably a protein powder, I didn't really look at the uh, nutritional on it. Um, yeah, I mean, 12 grams of protein, so it's definitely a protein shake. 12 grams isn't bad. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, definitely thick like a protein shake. Good chocolate flavor. Um, adds a nice little sweetness to the end of the meal. Alright guys, later. Thanks for watching my IMP 2017 smoked meat with mustard sauce. It's one of the most desirable IMPs out there and I can see why. It was a great meal. Thanks for watching.